So hey guys, what's up? So welcome to World News 20, a new channel. So let's talk about coronavirus death toll. It's one time the Russia to close border with China. The deadly coronavirus added all provinces in China, including the remote region of the Tibet, mostly due to travelers from one city, the ground zero of the epidemic. As the virus claimed, 170 lives infected. 7,736 others and spread to 20 countries, including India. Chinese health officials on Thursday announced 38 more fatalities, mainly from the worst effective Santa Lubai province, taking the health toll to 170. Tibet, which till now remains the only Chinese province untouched by the virus, reported its first case on Thursday. Russia said it was closing its border with China to prevent the spread of the coronavirus and would stop issuing electronic visas to Chinese nationals. Prime Minister Mikhail Mishutin told a government meeting that the order has been signed to take measures to close the border with China in the Far East. We have to do everything to protect our people, he said. The foreign ministry also advised Russians to refrain from traveling to China and for those in China to get in touch with the Russian embassy in Taiwan. India has been growing over China's refusal this week to let Taiwan evacuate about 300 of its people from Wuhan, even as it has given the United States, Japan and other countries permission to do so. China's ruling Communist Party considers Taiwan democratically governed island to be part of China and the two sides have no formal ties. Referring to the rebuffal question request on Tuesday, Ma Xinguang, our spokesman for China's Taiwan Affairs Office, said in a statement that Taiwanese people in Hubei province, which includes Wuhan, were receiving appropriate care. Kola Ziotaka, the spokeswoman for Taiwan's government, said China were Prioritizing politics overlays, many of the Taiwanese seeking evacuation from one where tourists were on business trips, while others were residents of the city who suffered from chronic disease. We call on the Chinese government to demonstrate a basic humanity and agree to our request as soon as possible, she said. Asian stocks and currency fell, and with fears growing that ahead and to China's economy were up around the world. Markets will remain highly watered as long as they feel they have only the incomplete picture of what is going on and what is going to happen next. Sarah Gathi Damar is a global forecasting director at the Economist Intelligence Unit. So if you like the channel, so kindly subscribe to it.